Yeah. But what Gavin didn't say too, though, uh, uh, when he was young, when we were both young in different cities, I said, you know, I will never drink, and I didn't. Gavin said, I will never drink, and he did. And he I became did. an alcoholic. Did you really? Yes. Well, I, I stopped drinking in 1971. Before uh, I married him. And cigarettes him. too, but you know, at that time. And it was very easy. God made it, it so was. easy for me. I, I it, made him, it made it so easy. Well, that's the pattern too, when, when you have that in the family. Oh, yeah, it's I easy know. to fall into that, and yeah. I'm aware of that, and so I'm you know, reluctant yeah. to get into the beer I've because I, I, I know where it can go. Yeah, that's I'm me. around people that drink a lot, you know, in our business, and uh, that's their choice, and uh, I see how their personalities change and so forth, and so therefore the grace of God go, why? Because my personality used to change, and uh, so we don't I'm so have that. that God has really given us, a, me yeah. and Patty, that he's changed us, and He's given us a new beginning, and it is so humbling to think that, you know, God sent His only begotten Son to die for us, to, to give us these new beginnings constantly. And, and even if we fail, He's the God of first, second, third, fourth. He's always there. Yeah. And it's so wonderful. That he's the rock on which we stand. And, you know, that may be the, that is the only thing we can always count on, you know, that you know. He is there. You know. So our search is over, like, like, the, like God told me that night. Can I tell you one thing? I uh, suppose. Another, Go ahead. Just tell me one thing. Just one. Okay. This is just one thing. <laughs> uh, some years ago, maybe 10 years ago, I was on the road with Barry Manilow's new show. And uh, I was in... Uh, what were you doing? It's called you, Copacabana. What, yeah. What it were you was, doing? I played the guy that ran the Copacabana, a very funny kind of character okay, with okay. a hairpiece and without a hairpiece. A lot of okay, fun. Okay, okay. But anyway, we, we were playing all over the country, and, and Patty was uh, in Cape Cod at that time. We had a home there, and I, I was on the road for maybe three, three months at that time, and she said, I, I don't think I want to stay here anymore because I'm, I'm no, by myself. No, you signed on for a year. He yeah. had decided that we should move to Cape Cod. So we moved to Cape Cod, and then he signed this thing for a year. And I'm sitting there in the middle of winter we in Cape Cod, and I no. thought, I thought something's wrong Let's with see, this what picture. Am I doing here? Yes. We there a few years before this happened. Now you can't say. And we both agreed. We always agree on. We make decisions okay, together okay, now. Okay. You know. But uh, uh, but if you said I did it, then I, I'll accept that. But we always make decisions together. But that's not the point. The point was I'm on the road. I'm playing this big theater in in in, in Texas. I'm in the number one dressing room, and all of a sudden, and there's smoke in the second act. And so that smoke had been there for months and months and months, and I'm walking in the middle of it and all this. <coughs> I come down with <coughs> something in my throat. I never missed a show in my life. I, I couldn't do a performance. Whoa. So I went to the doctor, and the doctor gave me one of the, what's that Z thing called, Patty? You know. I don't take What them. did David just take? Antibiotics. An antibiotic. We're not used to that because we don't really take those things. Anyway, so I'm on the floor praying to God. She's in California. The house is in Cape Cod. Uh, God, what do you want me to do, God? What do you want me to do? No, are you are you back together again? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just a couple of years ago. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, because I'm really praying to the Lord, and I'm on my on my face on the floor, saying, "What do you want me to do?" And he said. Patty is a gift I've given you. Mm. She's a treasure, and I want you to treat her like one. <laughs> Why not? Don't forget so it. So what did you do? The show. <laughs> oh, wow. And I came home, and we were home, and then uh, that was that. But I never left the show in my life. But God told me to because the importance of the wife and what we've gone through together, you know. Can you tell me a little bit about what is the practical way of attaining success in your marriage now um, faith in the Lord and whatnot but could you give me some give me some handles on yes. on the practical things that are going to make this make their, that marriage work now, second I, time around yeah <laughs> I don't know if you can manufacture this or not but we will both say one of the most we feel the one of the most and this this may sound strange to you but one of the most one of the things that gets us through the various situations is humor Mm. We have the same humor. Mm -hmm. We laugh at the same oh, thing. She has a way of throwing, you know, I could be upset about something and she'll just throw something out there. She's so witty <laughs> and clever. Uh, and it'll just yes. end that at all. That's a gift from God. Because yeah. I know some people that don't have it in their marriages. Yes, and yes. 
it's a different kind of scene. But that's number one, one the, number one. Number one is God first. But no, what does, now no, what does, what does is, that mean okay, practically? In our how, house, how do you bring God practically into well, your marriage? Pray to him every day. That's like, it. Like, like the Bible like, every like day. Like how, how often? Ships. How often? Here's what every we day. do. Here's like, what we like do. Every morning? Every morning. We get up and we do. We turn on TBN. We watch a few shows on there, okay, including okay. yours. Okay. And uh, then about, see, our day starts later because about 9 o'clock we start reading the Bible. Uh, we pray. Sometimes if we have the leisure, we, we can pray for, we, like today we will pray for everyone we know who's sick and needs, needs help. Okay. okay. So we do that. Um, we pray on our faces. We, uh, sometimes we have communion at home. We, we get the, the wine and the bread and we do that, but we start every day in the morning together praying. It's about very... About how long? About how long are you oh, doing It that? depends on the morning. Sometimes an hour, sometimes th two or three hours. Get out, out of here. Get out of here. You're no. doing your prayer three hours. God bless you. I had an interview no. the other day with someone from a magazine in San Francisco. She's a cruise director. And she said, so how do you, you and your wife, what do you do on the ships? I said, do you want, really want to know? I said, I said, well, we have a little balcony. And I said, every morning we open the Bible, we have a Bible study, and we pray for everybody we know, and, you know, the president and the yes, president. Yes, yes, yes. She said, you do? I said, yeah, that's what we I do. I mean, we're making us sound saintly. Maybe it's not, not always two hours, but we do. We watch some of our favorite, favorite programs yeah, to yeah, get yeah. us started. Then we read some of the magazines that we have from the various Out magazines. loud to each other, our, you know, Christian we magazines. Turns. We are now uh, reading out loud um, uh, in the mornings, uh, C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity. Oh, hello, yes. And um, w I tell you, I love to pray. And see, when, whenever I hear... Uh, priest ministers say, God has a plan for your life. I mean, I'm older now, and I think, what is my, pl what is, yeah. the, what plan? Haven't you what, run the course already? Right, or yes, what yes. am I supposed to do? But I do love to pray, and I pray in my car alone. I play oh, yeah, tapes, yeah, we, I listen, as, as I, our friend just gave us the, the New Testament on on tape, I mean, isn't that fabulous? So that the word is going in your yeah, yeah. your yeah. eyes when you read. Yes, but yes. we're we're not goody two shoes. But we do we do pray. We do pray together and study the Bible. Wow. And usually you use a, a daily devotional to to start us off, which is the one by Rick Renner. It's something about gems of the mm -hmm. Bible. Oh, it's a great one. A friend at church said God said I was supposed to from the Greek to buy mm -hmm. a lot of these, and you're one of the couple.